Travis Doyle subscribe to the channel. Travis Doyle subscribe to the channel. Zeno sponsored the channel. Slacker Lab sponsored the channel. Claudio sponsored the channel. Mark Jones sponsored the channel. Zelatko Maric sponsored the channel. Richard Buzz sponsored the channel. Brendan White sponsored the channel. Mihai Popa sponsored the channel. Yesterday Dave sponsored the channel. Clifford Fullerton sponsored the channel. Dieter Bernicke sponsored the channel. Thomas Bergstam sponsored the channel.
Graham Shaw sponsored the channel. Andrea Donno sponsored the channel. Alan Byrne sponsored the channel. Tommy Brenner sponsored the channel. Stepan Pulko sponsored the channel. Peter Vinogradif sponsored the channel. Carlton Brooks sponsored the channel. John O sponsored the channel. Leviu Strati sponsored the channel. Magnus Unamir sponsored the channel. Ed Williams sponsored the channel. Ian Robson sponsored the channel. Roberto OPZ sponsored the channel. Johnny Bergdahl sponsored the channel. Danny Jensen sponsored the channel. Joris Sturz sponsored the channel. Richard Annan sponsored the channel. Michael Breitkreutz sponsored the channel. Alwyn Hummel sponsored the channel. Nerdad Mortazavi sponsored the channel. Zoltorn Sala sponsored the channel. JANPGU sponsored the channel. Rob Van Koningsbruggen sponsored the channel. Make It Work sponsored the channel. Neil Harrison sponsored the channel. Michael Krogsball sponsored the channel. Daniel Billick sponsored the channel. ICT Stellar Jam sponsored the channel. Ian Hay sponsored the channel. Smart Home Junkie sponsored the channel. Thailand Travnik sponsored the channel.
Perot sponsored the channel. TNT Druid sponsored the channel. Alan Robertson sponsored the channel. Lee MCC sponsored the channel. Herve Tavernier sponsored the channel. Darren Doggett sponsored the channel. John O sponsored the channel. Carlton Brooks sponsored the channel. Sorry for that one. <laughs> this was interesting. I'll Ed Williams oh, sponsored the channel. No, 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 not again, not again. Hi, everybody. Sorry for that. Um, welcome. This will be interesting stream. Um, I had to change my setup. I had to clean my desk because I have a very small desk. But we will be playing with this one here. Uh, hi, Brad. Thanks. Uh, if any, anything goes wrong, I will definitely be shouting out for the help. Uh, Streetwiz, I've been playing with the Solar Lipo Life Po 4 batteries and main series. So I've been. Oh, yeah, Magic Smoke, Magic Smoke. Uh, I haven't had any Magic Smoke lately, but that doesn't mean that I will not have some tonight. Um, and it is packed in this box here. I've, so I've changed my setup. I currently have two green screens. One is in the back and the second one is here. Um, I have new arm for the uh, overhead camera, which I had to get 
uh, I knew I was, I was I was expecting this package, so I managed to buy this two weeks ago. I've only set it up today, tested today, uh, so hope everything goes okay. The idea for today is to play with this box here. Uh, I did open it up just to verify that everything is here. Uh, I did take everything out of the box, but once again, put it back. So everything is as it should be, including one oddity, which we will look closely because I'm not sure what this is. And uh, the idea is to assemble this. This should take, I would say five to 10 minutes, but when I start talking, it can be half an hour. And then we will test print something. Um, I have to warn you, um, for the last uh, almost two years, I believe, I haven't printed anything with the, uh, with the Marlin firmware on it. Uh, I converted all my printers. Actually, I did convert the printer I had previously to a Clipper, and then I built a Voron, which by default runs on Clipper. So that's that. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, uh, and also I'm not using anymore. Let me get this chair a bit higher. Oop. Not that high, that's okay. Um, I also run um, uh, Super Slicer instead of uh, uh, um, Cura. Cura is from the Ultimaker, so not Ultimaker Cura, but Super Slicer. So my, my version of the PC was 4.10. 4.10 doesn't have built-in uh, support for the longer printers so i had to update to 5.2 which has support for longer printers but doesn't have support for this model here and uh, this model here and it's a uh, lk4x uh and as always oh yeah we will also be looking at some other things but this is a spoiler let me get back to this one here um give me a second i have an issue because usually all of this stuff here is on this screen here and i have two screens but unfortunately due to this box I was unable to read the chat so everything is messed up uh, give me a second uh, okay I think we are ready uh, and as always we have a stream sponsor <laughs> actually not as always we don't have a stream sponsor but today we will be drinking or I will be drinking as budget uh, sour ananas Ananas, pineapple, pine, pineapple. Yeah. So this is the drink of a choice for today's stream. Um, I still have two of those in my fridge. Depending on intensity, I will have only one left uh, when the stream ends. So let's start with the unpacking, unboxing, or whatever. Um, I have to stand up. No, I don't have to. I actually do have to stand up. So let me stand up and kill this camera here. I should have this also. Okay. Uh, let me get the mic a bit up. Oh, I wasn't thinking about the mic. Okay. Uh, let's open this up. Um, mic go away mic return so what do we have here we have spatula cable I do have already one cable attached that is longer so we will be using this uh, we have a bit of filament we will not be using that one because I have Uh, give me a second. Sorry, kid called. Um, so I have this. 
it's uh, PLA Plus Fire Engine Red. And I had it for a couple of months because by mistake I ordered PLA. Actually, I haven't printed with PLA anything in over a year and a half. I usually go for ABS, so yeah. Uh, and this is the bag I was talking about. So when I opened the box, I found this bag here. And maybe Streetwiz, maybe this bag was pre-filled with magic smoke, but it wasn't sealed completely, so the magic smoke uh, escaped. Actually, I don't know what this is. I've checked nuts and bolts, everything is here. We have a decoration of conformity. We have assembly guide, manual printing, software installation, everything is here. Let's here uh, this is a spool holder it's nice it's very yep yeah, it's very nice okay let's take it out here is the holder plus the runout sensor filament runout sensor let's take it out of the bag Okay, silica gel, uh, you can use this to throw it away. Then we take this foam part and uh, the printer should actually be completely pre-assembled, meaning that I just have to juggle the parts out. Um, oh, okay, sorry, uh, these are the covers for the wires. Come on, let's twist again, like we did last summer. Yay. Let's get this foam out, like we did last year. No, I promise I will not be singing. Foam out, okay. Uh, let me briefly put this back in avoid any damage to something or anything. We have the, um, yeah, I would call this BL touch, but it's not the original BL touch. So it's a 3D touch sensor. It really looks like a copy of the original. And we have here screen. This is the printer screen. Uh, I'll talk about this in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Wiz, um, unfortunately, I'm not sure what we will do. If anything goes wrong, we are out of magic smoke. And give me a second just to move the back box uh, out of the way and pull everything else on the table. Okay. Box out of the way. Almost. And then put everything on the table. Everything's okay. Okay. Everything's okay, okay. Um, okay. Look at the mic. Back, back, down, back, down, back, down, back, down. Like this. So, as I said, it's overall more or less pre-assembled. We just have to do a couple of things. Um, let's pretend that we read manuals. Let's get all the nuts, bolts, screws. Oh, yeah, let me open this bag too. Okay, so we have... M3 by 12s, uh, USB stick and uh, reader. Front door is open. 
M3 by 10 and 20 by 20, 20 and 20. Sorry, uh, profile end caps for 2020 extrusions and 2040 extrusions. Tools, M3 by 6s, M5 by 16s, zip ties, although I have thinner ones. M5 by 25s, M5 by 06s. And these. So let's pretend that we know that what we are doing and we can play with this one and try to assemble it. Ooh, you can see my legs. Um, give me a second, I've practiced this. Well, actually I didn't practice, but let's pretend that I didn't practice. Transition. Transition once again. Uh huh. Uh, I've been playing with the studio settings in the in the in the OBS just to be able because later on I will move camera somewhere here to well you can see. Let's move these out of the way. Uh, yeah, we will be using these. I'm too lazy to go pick up my other ones, the better ones, and also I will be keeping my tools here. Uh, just give me a second tell something okay back I had to relay the message uh, uh, this is a preview this it's messy it's messy so what do we have to do we have to assemble yeah We have to assemble this like this and for this I think we need M5 by some things, some things, um, let me get the piece of paper that has everything there. So we need two bolts with four M5 by 25s and it's usually the easiest way to do that, it usually is by Do it like this. Headphones. Like this. M5 by M5 by M5 by M5 by 25. Um, what I'll do, I'll first just insert them, thread them in and, and, and position them, later on we will tighten them, just as soon as we make sure that everything is aligned properly. It's, it's really hard to have make a mistake here because there is a slot in for this extrusion that's a bit grooved in into this uh, this extrusion uh, this extrusion these extrusion here so it's it's really really easy to assemble let me Yeah, I'll do it like this because it's no, 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 no. Okay, this one has threaded nicely. And we are missing one more. I see you.
Okay, comparing to my first printer that I assembled that was like this, things did improve in the last couple of years, four, four years or so. Um, I see some things that have been added that make everything much easier to assemble and work with today. Um, Give me a second. Okay. Uh. <laughs> People, hold on. Hi Johnny. Hi Johnny, don't worry, you are both iconic and ironic. But we love you because of that. What is this? I told you there will be a 3D assembly video, sorry, stream. Channel members knew that at least a month and a half ago, so... It's your fault you are here. <laughs> you know, this goes both ways, Johnny, this goes both ways. Nope, I will not tighten them completely down. I just want to make sure that everything is seated before I do that. And turn it on the other side. Damn it. Uh, you did, you did. <laughs> um, Uh, I don't know. I I sh I I think I've seen you. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, no. It is looping through the last uh, time. I think it is looping through the last. Let me look how long ago. Um. No, 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 no. I cannot stop it. Actually, I can. Uh, like this. It's, it hasn't loaded data between the February. Something. Let me check it. Nope. Yeah, it's missing data between the Janu uh, January, before January 14th. So if you, if your membership uh, is between the January, uh, sorry, February uh, 11th and February 15th, uh, it gets auto renewed. So yeah, it probably misses because of that. Okay, so more or less, this should be it. Uh, thanks for this one, Brad. Uh, I don't. I'm. I'm not even sure if I will be using. Maybe I will be using, or I will just. I will just maybe brick or bridge the, the sensor so it reports always closed um, okay so this part is done normally what you should do now is test if this is square or not and I don't have anything here to come on camera don't play with me Camera is getting old, so it doesn't want to stay up for long.
Yeah, I sorry for that street ways. I I killed it. Um, I don't know why they have been repeating the last forty minutes or so. Uh, okay, so um, we should really check if this is aligned or not. I see that this doesn't look properly seated. No to self get wireless headsets. Yeah, it's actually not seated properly here, so I will loosen the screws a bit, seat it in, and tighten it. It does. Mm, this time it's not camera, but this time it's camera. Doesn't matter, we will now move camera downwards. I actually don't know why it's moving. It's really tight and it shouldn't move an uh, inch, but as with everything, with, uh, as with everything with the Elgato recently, things don't always play, play nicely. For example, look at these here. As you can see, there is some writing on my Elgato screen because actually this is RMA, uh, it broke and I had to replace it, I, I had to replace it or I got the replacement, then I got the new one which broke at the same, um, same space or same clip where the original one uh, broke off. So yeah, this is also Elgato arm. They look nice and they are expensive something like iPhone. Uh, sorry, I didn't say that. Okay, let's move this. So we did this one. Whoa, step one is over. We now have to add the filament runout sensor and we have to add the spool. Uh, problem with this is that you have to turn and and unscrew those those arms in order for you to be able to change the angles. So I cannot use Loctite on that because I wouldn't be able to change the position. That's the that's the biggest issue with it. Uh, so what do we need? What do we need? We need M3 by 12s for the spool holder. No, 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 and three by twelves. Yeah, this stream, this stream is actually sponsored as always by all of the YouTube channel members, even the uh, iconic, iconic Johnny. What the? Like this? Why? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, like this. Hmm. I usually always have the filament pool on the Backside. Oh, my stomach is shot. Hmm. Well, let's try it like this. Don't tell him that. No, this should be for the this should be for the filament runout sensor, so this should be like this.
this shoe. Oh, so yeah, and 3 by 12s are for the filament sensor. My bad. M3 by 12s. Anybody knows any good jokes? Come on, twist, turn, twist, turn. Yeah, Jan, you are correct. Or I don't know if who posted that one. I think that I think that somebody posted it. Adult content. Warning, adult content. Somebody posted it. Oh yeah, it was in a closed group. Uh, there is a special camera that you can attach to your private bits and of course as always on Amazon people started posting fake comments and they are hilarious really I actually hope that they are they are fake comments because if they are not people have issues I said to my wife, this will be a relaxing stream. I don't see anything relaxing, I'm already sweating. Okay. This is mountain, then, yep, this goes towards the back. And this is M5 by 16. So far we had to attach two, this will be 13, third piece of the printer. So four bolts, six, eight bolts. I like it. If anybody likes bolts, you can try assembling Vora. It has a bit more bolts, around a kilo and a half of whatever bolts. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, we had, we had, we were, we had, I don't know if anybody follows me on the Instagram, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I know, the, actually, I didn't post that on the uh, Twitter. This was Instagram content. Um, I went with, I bought her a gift for her birthday a sushi workshop, you know, uh, learn how to whatever sushi. So we went there. Uh, it's for it was for two people uh, for her plus one, and she decided. I thought I don't know if it, this was a this was, I don't know if this was uh, to get back to me or not. But I was that plus one, not her friend or something. So yeah, we went together on the. Uh, On that workshop and I think that that was enough of doing things together this week especially when you have very sharp knives in your hand no but it was it was really 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 fun okay so we have a spool holder we have a filament run out detector sensor thingy lead thingy here wibbly wobbly uh, next we have to attach uh, install auto level sensor holder auto level sensor holder this sounds so scary auto level sensor holder auto level sensor holder <laughs> uh, oh I love um, you know uh, the funny thing about smart home is that that no matter how you how much you try, you always end up doing something wrong, which you never thought of. I will just tell you one thing. Uh, my router, Microtik router, is also imported inside Home Assistant. And guess what I did already 
couple of times. I gave command turn off all devices. No, it cannot turn off uh, actually the router. But do you know what it can turn off on a Microtik router? Mm -hmm. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yes, it can actually turn off firewall or turn on firewall or turn off uh, a NAT or turn off open ports and things like that. So everything stops working and you're like, what's going on? Nothing works. You cannot access Home Assistant. Uh, yeah, I cannot even access Home Assistant then. I have to go and uh, connect it via the PC. So mobile app, laptop, not working. And then it ends up that I just turned off all the nut ports or nut whatever. Yeah, it's funny. Actually, it's not funny, but... For people that do not like smart home, that's funny. Okay, my Google Assistant is talking with somebody, which is really strange because currently nobody's at home except me. Uh, so what we are doing now, we are assembling the BL Touch to the holder and later on we have to I haven't checked actually where the wire goes yeah it's okay uh, we are assembling build touch to the holder and the next step will assemble holder to the hot end mount um, okay. damn it this is a great joke Why did the 3D printer cross the road? To print on the other side. Awesome, awesome. And by the way, did you did you see that the, for the first time? I think in a, in in I don't know how long I did manage to remember to uh, press this sound button. Okay, um, camera down. So we have to try and connect this connector here. This is what's... Great. Where are my glasses? If enough force is applied, it will go either way, so no problem. Oh, you should put the wire first. Oh, I see. My wife always refers to our smart home as... <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good one, good one. Oh, how I love, I love my job, so I do it twice. I've stolen that from somebody. I don't know if any one of you knows from who this is. I really like the guy. It's Raymond Repairs, something like that is called the channel. The guy is mechanic, but he's a <laughs> brilliant creator. Oh no, connector should go the opposite side. Note to self, don't leave glasses downstairs. So when you do things twice, you have to be happy. You have to be happy and helpful because I love my job so much that I do it twice. Yeah, um, exactly, Johnny. I don't know why I, I, I'm, I'm 
pretty sure I didn't say the wake up word and my downstairs Google was triggered based on something I was saying here in the chat. So maybe they're just experimenting, you know, to uh, not even pretend that they're not listening because they actually are. So yeah, we don't need wake words anymore. Um, one screw in. Wibbly wobbly. Anybody here watch Doctor Who? I mean, the, not maybe the, yeah, the original series, so pre-2005. Uh, I, I do like the Doctor Who after that uh, period also, but the original series with the original Doctors, I don't know. It was black and white later on course in color I didn't like the last doctor so I stopped watching it hmm it's sturdy sort of okay so this is done we also not need m5 06s these are small and fat just how they call me um and they're here and these are needed to attach the lcd these we don't need anymore Let's move this here. Let's put this here. It's so it's so strange to see the small uh, and and when I say small, actually this is not small, but much smaller than the <coughs> one I have on on Ender. This is a two hundred twenty by two hundred twenty, and it's smaller than the the one that I'm using normally. Let's get the scream. It should go. I, I really like the scream. Okay, so um, I don't know if, if Pedro. Oh, Pedro! Sorry, uh, I did see you, but I forgot that you're here. So the screen, I really like. It's a uh, scratched. But yeah, no, I didn't mean that. But. Yeah, it, it is scratched, <laughs> but it's a color touch screen. It has a nice resolution. So I will come back to that when I, when we print the test print. Hopefully, hopefully when we print the test print, um, we'll talk about the clipper and 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 stuff like that. Come on, let's twist again. I'm twisting, but it's not doing anything. So. Come on. One screw, two screw. Sometimes it just wakes up with Google for me and yes, turn the lights off should only turn off the lights in the room assigned yes i agree with you it it shouldn't by default it shouldn't um uh, are you using a local control for the devices because there is a you know a long time ago i think a year or so ago um, home assistant devs released that that script that had to be loaded in the in the uh, Google in the cloud to make local control work because then this script is referenced or pulled by devices etc one thing I didn't know which is presumption uh, my presumption and we all know what presumption presume means 
Um, so, um, actually, it looks like you have to update that script from... Oh. Actually, it looks like you have to update that script from time to time. And I so far updated it only once. I think the last update I did was in June, July last year. Because things changed. Maybe something changed. Because mostly, if I say turn off the light, depending on the speaker who picked it up, it would turn off just that room. But as I said, what happened with the router? Nobody said anything similar, but yet it decided to, to switch off all devices, which means that all the switches are turned off, which is something that uh, I haven't... This is something that I haven't uh, worked on to prevent unintentional switch offing. Yeah, I, I, I bet. It, I bet. But you know, there is a whole district in Amsterdam that's red, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Teme, uh, Echo Dots. I have, I have here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Ah, uh, let me. So this one here. Actually, this is the only smart device on my table. Is the device that I never use, but that device understands me perfectly each time, whatever I say. Uh, no, 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 I just visited a couple of times, as a regular. Uh, Streetwiz, actually, uh, I was sent this one to do video on it, and I decided, well, if I want to do video on it, I also want to assemble it, and it looked like a good idea to do it on a stream. I don't say that all my ideas are good. Uh, I sometimes do have good ideas that sound good in my head, and yeah, but um, um, I really wanted to see what's the difference today with the printer comparing it to the Ender 3 times. So the, the times when Ender 3 was released, I got the normal printer then. When I say normal, I mean the normal user printer that users usually go uh, out and buy. Uh, in the meantime, I've I've moved on to some are some bigger things, and I think that it looked nice. Uh, and I will go through a couple of features that I like very much. For example, one simple thing that still not a lot of printers uh, have is the these guides on the uh, carefully, carefully guides on the back side and the sides, so you can align the sheets, and they will each time lay down perfectly. So this one does have a couple of things like that. Okay, uh, let's continue with the assembly. Actually, assembly is more or less uh, done. I'm sorry it took me 45 minutes to do, but we chat everything and yeah. Um, we now have to connect the cables. Uh, I now have to... Yeah, some things will need... A bit more love before we can do anything so we have the uh, bed motor it's already mounted now we have this is what is it Z it should be Z so let's turn it this way so you can semi see what I'm doing Uh -huh, uh -huh. This is a Z-wire. Now you can see what I'm doing, but I can't see what I'm doing. I will go by the force on this one. May the force be with me. Without looking, without looking, without looking. Should I cheat? Should I cheat? Should I look? Should I look? I think I will have to look. I have to look. I 
I hate cables like this, especially after I started using different type of cables. They can become brittle. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Uh, okay, next, next we have to attach this to the bed. It's wibbly wobbly. It should go like this. Okay. Um, hmm, hmm. One thing I would love to see here is something that can yeah be used to 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 zip tie this and and hold this but no problem then we have the screen whoa no 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 don't do that then we have the screen screen is easy Uh, so let's check uh, and we also have this sensor here whoa hmm um, yeah Let me check something out in the documentation. Let's check the documentation while we are here. <laughs> Sometimes it's 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 good idea to check the documentation. Um, packing list, we did that. Yeah, yeah, everything's okay. Uh, blah blah blah. Assembly, we did that. We did avoid injury so far. Uh, M5 by 16s, okay, we did that, we did that also, we did that, uh, photovoltaic, this one here, there is absolutely zero orientation on this, oh, there is something, but I'm not sure. No, this is strange. How? This is strange. Connectors here are damaged a bit. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a photo optical switch for the height or for the bed. By the way, it's a very bad idea to um, move bed plates by hand or uh, not by hand, but by uh, force because it can generate electricity and burn the board. So be careful when you do it. Okay, um, let, me, let me see what you see, if you see anything. 
Uh, do you see this connector here? One of the pins, actually all of them are bent in one way or the other, but what's, I would say, not ideal is that this can be inserted both ways, actually. Let me... Let me get my magnifying glass. And I see nothing. Yeah, it goes, it should go like this. It should go like this. No, and Pedro, unfortunately not. Um, I really wish, I really wish um, you get <laughs> from um, from Jason printer, but I would really like to get, if anybody ever makes a conversion kit, to convert the, to convert the um, Ender 3 Pro to switch wire, you know, linear rails and all the shebang with that. blue on the inside let's try it like that this is the this is the only thing that i see on this printer that's uh, at least some kind of uh, i wouldn't call that a problem but not ideal actually i think it would be faster if i remove the complete switch of the printer and install the wire than what um, I'm currently filling with. Which at the end we always can do. Or I could have done that 10 minutes ago. Come on. So everything really is, it's, it's easy, it like has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 bolts all in all and, and printer is, you know, done. It's really easy to assemble, it, it, it looks sturdy if I compare it, for example, with the Ender 3 Pro's out of box. Not, not with what I've done with it. <laughs> Hmm. So you say it should go blue towards the printer. It doesn't look like it. Yeah. But it's so strange. Why would they go for, for, they could have put, I, whatever, something, uh, something. Yeah, this pad is bigger than the others, so there is no way for you to turn it upside down. So you are right, it can only go this way. But nevertheless, they, they, they could have added some kind of marking, you know, just like a, a red strip or or whatever so you can know how to align it and second of all i think that this is the only thing that would be deserving to get to be pre-assembled at factory because it's really fiddly and it's easier to take it off than to than to than to install it like this especially since the connectors were bent which probably i did bend because i didn't look at that but Still, that's the only thing so far 
that that in my opinion for this price range of the printer uh, could have been better okay so everything is now connected this is tight this goes in um, we will need to okay let's put it like this wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly um, this is upside down is this better yes it's better haha <laughs> Uh, we need to remove zip tie. Oh, by the way, I didn't see I didn't see uh, these in the back. Which usually you do see in the bags with goodies. And uh, you can see that the head is wibbly wobbly. For that, we'll take a wrench. Um, this one here. No, more wibbly wobbly. Less wibbly wobbly. You know, after using linear rails, I'm not accustomed to any wibbly wobbly. This is nice and tight. Uh, the camera is moving the head is still so this one is good for now let's see these they are okay uh, the bed I don't like it's moving left and right give me a second um, I will transfer you to my pretty face here while I remove the camera uh, turn the printer Reposition the camera. And you can't see anything. Uh, reposition the camera once again. And you can't see anything. Um, give me a second and transition. Haha. <laughs> We have to remove this inner zip tie, you see it, and then I will tighten a centric knot here, eccentric, uh, because it's wibbly wobbly. I really do, today is the word of stream today is wibbly wobbly, and that's a Doctor Who thingy. less more with the linear rails they bring you stability which which you cannot have with wheels on the yeah technical term um linear rails are really awesome you know uh, when you when you start using printers with the linear, linear rails you you start appreciating how how everything can be sturdy and and compliant and whatever okay uh mechanical installation is done wow just one hour <laughs> no uh uh, okay, what we did, um, you can see back, um, what we did, um, this is now not moving, not dancing, this is also okay, as far as it can go, this is okay, uh, I just wanted to check, no, this is also okay, okay, everything is okay, or how one movie would say, everything is awesome, 
the last thing before we turn the magic smoke and let me transition once again last thing before we turn on the magic smoke we have to check the power and for that arm arm this was the webcam Please follow the blah 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 turn off Please follow the steps below focus focus Please follow the steps below to set the correct input voltage for the printer according to the country of the country's voltage standard Tear off this label. Yeah, I, I, I read turn off this label. I was like, okay, um, I know a lot of stuff, but I'm really not sure how I can turn off the label. Nice. I'm blind. I don't trust my AC. It's on 2.30 or it's... Push this way. Actually, I can read it on the on the screen better than with my eyes. So, if we want magic smoke, this is a magic smoke EU setting. This is non magic smoke EU setting. Let's put it on magic smoke. Okay. Where do you change the uh, host name in Home Assistant to S? Why would what wow 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 wow? It's turned off, and it's moment of truth. Um, let me let me reposition everything on the desk so we can do test print and everything and chat while this is working do, do you do you hear how optimistic i am you know um let me stop torture you with the camera movement Um, just give me a second. Okay. Oh, you're right, Emma. You're right. Give me a second. I don't have any fire extinguishers. Oh, let me check the tension in the belt. This one. And this one. Um, are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh.
three, two, one, go. Ooh! Oh shoot! Uh, mm, uh, mm. Uh, we will power it down. Pedro, you are right. Uh, actually, it looks like I forgot to connect one additional wire. I hope that this is the last wire. And why? Um, I think just give me a second. Let's remove it. Why? Why did you do it like this? No, no, I can't. Hmm. Oh, actually, the sensor wire, the runout sensor wire, was not connected. But I don't like how it how it goes, where it goes. Okay, no problem. Well, we will we will fix it. Probably later if I don't forget about it. It's okay. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Okay. Um, three, two, once again. Power on. Okay, the uh, BL touch is working. It looks like. Hmm. Uh, move. Ooh, the head is moving, which is a bad idea because I haven't... Yeah, but let's test the sensor. Hmm, stopped. It's the optical switch. The same thing is... The same thing goes for the... The same thing is uh, in the bottom tap now. It's going down and... There is optical switch here. And it stops. Nice. Okay. Nice. So, the uh, Johnny, is that two fire extinguishers per printer or one for each of the printers? Uh, my 3D printer is located actually just near the front door. So, if it starts to burn, I can A try and throw it out of the apartment or B, uh, I'm blocked in the apartment because the fire is at the front door. So these are the only two things that can go wrong. But it's no problem because the uh, gas pipe is about half a meter from it. So it would rupture and explode. Yeah, that's that's okay. Street Wiz, I told you, you've seen the, I've, I've shown you the bag was empty. There was no magic smoke packed. So, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, so, what should we do now? Let's go through the standard uh, whatever procedure. Uh, this. Stay here, stay here, stay here, don't move. Let's go through the manual now okay uh turn this to this to this no 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 we now we have to do test print we have to do the test print because if it actually doesn't print anything yeah it doesn't count um cut the we did that we did cut the wires we did Okay, before leveling, please make sure the nozzle is clean. There is no nothing. Manual leveling, first adjust the platform to a lower position. Uh, it means that... Uh, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Left, right, tight. Yeah. Okay. 
These are nice springs. They are very, very, very hard. Okay. Uh, turn the hand not clockwise. We'll increase the gap if you nozzle and hit net clockwise. Okay. Uh, adjust the per First, let's do. Where is the home? Where is the home? Home? I can't see anything like this. Are you sure to make X, Y, X? Are you sure to make X, Y, X is back to the original? Yes. Um, so it's going full up first. Okay. Everything is awesome. And then let's Z homing. Are you sure to make Z axis back to the original? Let's make Z axis back to the original. Actually, what am I doing with these glasses? Uh, my team is located in a room where the fire stands to collect the security company. If they catch the fire, the fire will happen. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to know that actually. Um, I had, I had, I had. I needed to call the ambulance a couple of weeks ago and I know that it took them for um, I reported that somebody has just fainted or fallen down in the street wasn't giving any life signs although he was breathing and heart rate was normal and um, but he was you were not able to contact him you, there was no reaction for him whatever and um, it took it it took them more than an hour. Why? Because in that one hour, the person woke up, gained conscious. He had a, a, a epileptic seizure. So I know that it takes them one hour. Okay, so this is now homed. <laughs> Street twist. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, let me put music back in, in, in here. There is still music. The printer is loud, but not as loud as my warrant. Okay. First, adjust the platform to lower position. Clicking, uh, so let's move to the manual. Click leveling and then click the five points and turn to what? Uh -huh. Okay, mm, I think I know what they mean. Uh, click uh, leveling and click. Uh... Manual, click five points. Okay. Let's take this piece of paper. Press five buttons, one to five, to control nozzle moving to corners. I pressed one. Put the paper and then... Uh, 
Okay, like this. Okay, this one is good. Let's move to point two. Okay, this one. It's okay. One, two, three. Hey Nenad, pozdrav. Yeah, Johnny, unfortunately one hour. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I think that they knew that this wasn't a heart attack or something like that. Uh, but we didn't know, we actually, we actually thought that, that we didn't know what, what was it at the point, at the time. But it ended up well. Uh, I was really, I was really frustrated and, and not happy, but uh, you cannot do anything with that. Actually, you can. You can change the state where you live, but I love my country, no matter what things sometimes happen. bottomed out and hmm. yeah this screw is bottomed out and it's just too close here now let's go to point five I need to, I need to, Ah, joy of happiness. But no issues. We do it once, then we do it less often. too much mm -hmm. 
Sorry for this interesting, interesting um, procedure of leveling the bed. We have to repeat it because I had to move all the knobs. Moving the knobs. Ah. two centimeters away from the bed now. Okay, one is done. Let's do two. Uh, I really do like... Yeah, this one is now touching. No, the problem was the center of the bed because that one is maxed out and it's still touching so that's the that's the issue so i had to uh, release the tension in all the other to compensate for that one i'm not sure why it would why it would why it would uh, be bottomed out and still touching the, 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 the... Okay, let's see if this is now better. <coughs> I will. Ah, it's better. No, it's still not. This one is bottomed out. This one is completely bottomed out and I cannot... Ah, okay, let's pretend I can move the paper, so... Let's see what the fifth one says. more or less okay um and after you've done you press twist the uh, hot blah 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 leaving i'm leaving let's try automatic clean up the bed and nozzle and ensure no materials stick on them prepare a sheet of paper or other block Touch start button. Let's try this automatic. Sorry for the mic bump. This is very exciting. Not minus. It's. I'm not sure if. How come? This is okay. 
this is not okay this is okay next the offset calibration is done do you want to measure yes let's have it measure uh hey daniel yeah there is there's that's what i want to say it, uh, on the screen it shows it's minus you know decreasing 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 but i don't see i didn't feel any change in the pressure on the paper yeah 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 <laughs> It was strange, really strange. Uh, okay, so I do have this brand new, unopened, un. Oh, nice. This is Isan PLA Plus. Fire engine red. It's really awesome color. I reprinted some of the parts for my Warren printer with the, with the ABS version of the same color. I like this color. A fire engine, you know, boys and the fire trucks and fire hoses. Um, okay, let's. We are getting there. Um, I like, okay, so let's take a step back. I actually didn't say anything about the printer. Let's, let's check the specs. Um, once again, this is not a Prusa. This is not Bamboo Lab. This is not a Warren. This is a bed slinger printer. Um, bed slingers are the printers that have bed moving back and forth. Um, it's it's uh, close to the Ender clone. When I say Ender clone, I don't mean that Enders were the first ones that did the same thing, but there were a lot of printers that were built on this concept and the Ender and the series was the first printers that really started mass selling. Uh, so let's talk about differences between the Ender 3. I'm not think I'm not talking about the newer printers because some of the newer printers have the same thing. So there is a runout sensor. Uh, I myself don't use runout sensors or any printers because um, I usually know uh, how much grams of the filament I printed and I know how many grams on the spool I have so I know when I should run out of uh, filament which once again is a notorious lie because if you follow me on Twitter you've seen that my white shade for the lamp that I printed unfortunately uh, ended up in two colors because I didn't have enough filament but that's a different story. Okay, so it has a round sensor. It has a excellent touch screen, which is responsive, but what I didn't like that much is that it shows things even before they actually happen. So for example, when I was doing the uh, Z offset, it showed me that the head was lowered, where actually the head was not lowered it was probably still giving command for the printer to lower the head well okay Marilyn. um 
the frame is very sturdy. The screen is very nice. I'm I don't sh I'm not sure about the PA PAI uh, um, uh, powder coated bed, but I I usually buy powder coated coated pads like these. I prefer them over the glass or the smooth ones. Although the smooth ones, um, I do have one from the uh, uh, Osec, and they're awesome ones. But they have other issues currently. They had problems with the quality of the beds. So they started, stopped all the production in the China. They moved uh, production to Czech Republic to have everything in house. And yeah, it takes a lot of time for that. Um, it doesn't have uh, two uh, 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 motors for the Z, which should be better if it would have it. It doesn't have linear rails, but the frame really looks very sturdy. I would say that it's much sturdier than the Ender 3 one. It has um, uh, uh, tensions for the uh, tension knobs for both the uh, two, two, two belts that it has. Uh, lower rail is 2040, which should give stability to the bed. Uh, direct extrusion is something that I upgraded my Ender 3 Pro to because it helps with a lot of things, especially stringing. And it, according to the documentation, this one should also work with the uh, TPU and other flexible materials, which I really would like to bring. So it says PLA, TPU, ABS, PTG and wood. Okay. Uh, ABS, I'm not sure ABS should really be printed in the enclosed uh, uh, um, space. This is open printer, so you can build a box around it probably and print. But yeah. Um, okay. filament in um while we are talking let's 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 find the bag with the let's the card um so yeah direct dual gear extruder nice it has bl touch which i don't Think that any printer should be today sold without some kind of bed leveling, automatic bed leveling. Uh, what else? Um, okay, TMC 2208s, which are great. I use myself usually 2209s, but these are the awesome, uh, uh, awesome uh, chips. 32-bit uh, board, which I will come back later, and uh, Pedro is here, so thank you, Pedro, for reminding me about that one. Um, so we talked about this, resume printing runout protection, blah, 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 easy assembly, which it really is. I had a couple of hiccups. The only hiccup I, I've seen actually was that, that um, uh, Z uh, sensor, optical sensor. Dual fan blowers, one on this side, one on that side. And we also have the cooler for the hot end. Uh, 20, 220, 220 by 250 in size, which is also okay. Um, yeah, uh, my hot ends lately have been all metal hot ends, so, but this should be okay. Uh, all in all, it's really okay printer. It's really okay printer. Um, let me just try and insert the cards. Bad move, bad move. Not on this. Can I miss any? Cables. Okay. The SD card should go somewhere like here. And let's see what we have here. Um, I'm having issues. Uh, let's go home. Let's change this to the printer once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one thing I would like to do is conversion of the printer. 
it has calibration cube and 3D bench. Let's do the calibration cube. Open. Start printing. Oh, yes. It's hitting bad to... Oh, I, I what I stop, stop, cancel, cancel, cancel. Yes. I didn't uh, do the first purge of the extruder. Uh, do you know what's the best way to see if the printer is hot or not? Don't do it with your finger. Don't do it with your finger. Okay, so... Um, moving. Tune. Nozzle temperature. Nozzle temperature. Let's get it to 200. I haven't printed with 200. What's the temperature for this one? Uh, PLA, PLA plus. Yeah, it should be okay. 210. Uh, okay. Nozzle is heating up. Uh, let's heat up the bed to 60. And let's move extruder. I'm missing the... Hundred and... You, do you see numbers here? Let's see. Let's get it to 190, then we will try to extrude and purge the filament out. After we purge a bit, I will then print. Hundred and ninety plus. It should be okay. Move extruder. Nope. This is the back. It looks like it has. It doesn't. But at first, it looks like it's reversed. some kind of black filament okay red starting to forty fifty seventy ninety What's this? So it looks like it doesn't have tension on the on the filament. Better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what I wanted to 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 yeah, it looks better now. Okay, what I want to say. Um, first of all, if I would work on this printer, one of the first things I would do is try to convert it to clipper, which actually is something that you can do. 
uh, Clipper as of 2019 has support for this printer. It's not for the uh, LK, LK4X, but it's for LK4 Pro. But you can use this as a starting point for the configuration. So here the stepper pins, X, Y, Z. Um, Uncommon this for BL Touch, so you can use the BL Touch. Bed mesh, extruder, filament sensor switch is supported, heat bed is supported, fan, MCU connected via the USB port. And the maximum velocity 300, acceleration 3000, Z acceleration 100, so yeah. Um, the bad thing about uh, this printer and clipper is that screen is not supported, so you would be, you would need to use printer without the screen, which is not that bad at first. It may look bad, but actually it's not that bad. Um, home uh, file. Uh, we said open okay I don't get it yes um, so one of the first things I would do is I would move away from the uh, Marlin to the Clipper. Um, Marlin and Clipper are similar uh, in what they do to the printer or, or how they tell printer what to do. But difference between the Clipper and Marlin is, uh, okay, for Clipper you need a Raspberry Pi or similar boards to run everything on. And it just tells the board in the printer where or how much steps to do on each of the motors. Whereas with the Marlin, everything is located on the uh, MCU on the uh, printer. And um, then printer itself looks at the file, tells the stepper motors or tells the motors where to go. So the processing is then moved from the printer to the Raspberry Pi. But the biggest difference and and really the only difference uh, that is, it's not the only difference, but the biggest, really the biggest difference between the Merlin and the Clipper is that you don't have to compile Merlin, not in a way it is compiled now uh, or how it was compiled previously. It can be really troublesome, uh, cumbersome and takes a lot of time. In Clipper, you just change the configuration file, such as this one, click on save. Uh, it automatically uploads the configuration to the Raspberry Pi and that's it. There is no firmware compiling. You can add, remove things on the fly while printer is running. You don't need a PC for that. You can do all via the web browser. Uh, you can also run Clipper with the Octoprint. Um, I may at the end put Clipper on it and do everything by the, uh, via the Octoprint, but I really would love to get this screen working. And um, the second thing is that Pedro has sent me on the Twitter link. And by the way, Pedro is an awesome guy who, do, who does a bunch of stuff. And uh, among the other stuff that he's doing, he's maintaining the fluid. So uh, main sale is the OS um, and you have uh, a fluid or uh, Help me, Pedro. I forgot how it's the what's the name of the other one. If you are still here, if you haven't fallen asleep, um, what's the name of the other 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 um, uh, clipper mm, mainsail Moonraker? No Moonraker. Yeah, Moonraker. No Moonraker. Then you have fluid or mainsail. I, I, I mixed things up. Uh, okay, uh, but you can run you can run Octoprint uh, even with even with uh, 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 um, bread. Yes, I could, um, and I, I probably will. I have to play. I, I I I want to check. I really want to check. I've seen that some people have started messing up with this screen, but he, uh, the problem is that. That one is not that easy. It requires, for example, uh, additional server running on the Raspberry Pi that then whatever presents something to the screen. Uh, yeah, F 
Fluid and Moon Sail are the web interfaces. Moonraker, you're correct. That's why I mixed up. Uh, Clipper Firmware, Moonraker is the API server, and the Fluid and Main Sail are the web interfaces. I use myself Fluid. You can run um, OctoPrint with Clipper. So I will probably do. Uh, Hmm, this is now serious. It's starting to print. It looks okay. -ish. Let's leave. It looks on the web. Um, oh, let me let me change you. Sorry. I'm selfish. I was looking at the webcam, but you couldn't see it. And a uh, good thing with, the, with everybody who has Clipper has, of course, also tried to push printer to the limits. And it would be really fun to see how fast this printer can print. Um, for, I, I'm no expert. I'm really no expert if you compare me to uh, yeah, it really looks it looks very decent. I would say I, I let's I will we probably will not it, it will take some time for print to finish, but I will post a picture on the Instagram and on the uh, Twitter. But what I wanted to say is that um, uh, the limit of printers like these, unfortunately, is the weight of the toolhead and um, uh, a lack of linear rails because these are okay, but they are not as sturdy as the linear rails. But even these printers can be really pushed to the, to the, you know, to do faster printing. And um, Marlin Firmer now has a couple of things that Clipper originally did have. Okay, um, which reminds me, uh, Bamboo Lab. Uh, um, I did mention that some time ago that Bamboo Lab has been able to implement in its printer a lot of things that were at one point uh, only available in Clipper uh, and something have recently been added to Marlin. It's really... Hmm. Um, for example, input shaping. Input shaping is the ability for printer to compensate on the fast movements of the head because every time it goes to one or the other side, it stops and this momentum is transferred to the frame, means that frame is shaking, which means the print... It's simply not... No, it's not pulling the filament right. It's like it's lacking the power to pull the filament. I think that I will need to play with this knob here. Okay. Um, did you, Johnny, did you try turning it on and off? I think that um, uh, bloop, 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 when I installed the version before this one, so it was 2023.1.3 or something, before the latest to your local, um, I had the same issue and I think that I needed to restart Home Assistant for everything to work. I, I can't remember every, what else was the issue, but I think that that was the issue. Um, but back to that, um, so Bamboo Lab, implemented input shaper and uh, Marlin later on implemented input shaper. Uh, there are other compensation measures that Clipper had done earlier than the Marlin. The problem with the Marlin is that each time you change the setting, you would need to recompile the firmware. Um, with Clipper, you don't have. So I, I'm overselling it. I know that I'm overselling it, but yeah, I, I, really, I really do like. And I think that Pedro was among one of the people that 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 nudged me in direction of Clipper conversion to my Ender 3. It's really printing fast comparing to my current printer. No, but it's, 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 yeah, Clipper is really awesome. I hate it, you know, um, 
Ender 3, uh, this this is definitely better printed than Ender 3. Uh, if I would want to get Ender 3 when I bought it to the uh, when I bought the Ender 3, if I wanted to get it to the state like this, I would I had to spend at least 50 bucks more and days of tweaking and tuning. This really is out of box printing. It really looks okay. I wish I had. I'm about to buy. I, I spent too much money. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Mike, you you're right. It's it's really awesome. I I have printer that is capable of print. You know, it's like it's like. I feel like I bought Ferrari uh, and I'm using it to drive my kids to school that's 500 meters away with my warm printer. But, um, but I made it. Uh, uh, I made it in such a way that I can print. If I need to print something, I can just power it up, boot up into web interface, load the SDL file via the web, and it will print it. I will not need to look at it. You do, Teme. This is really awesome. This is a really, really awesome thing. You know, even the bad printers can do much more with the with the, with the uh, clipper. Of course, it doesn't compensate on uh, hardware issues. So if you have harder problems, you have to work work on them. Uh, but this, uh, I remember, I bought my Ender three, three four years ago. It was on a sale. One day I was at work. We were sitting in, in well, I was in work. I was at work. Uh, we were sitting in a bar drinking coffee for a lunch break or something like that. And I was like browsing the web. And somebody said, 3D printer. I said, yeah, I should probably buy one. And I bought it. And it arrived a week or two later on. Then I spent another three months of tweaking, tuning to get, you know, first normal print out of it. Uh, I bought the BL Touch, non-original. Then I throw it in the trash. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Thank you for staying with me. Uh, but as you can see, it works. Uh, yeah, awesome. Um, and uh, then I bought the original uh, BL Touch, and it was like, you know, day and night. Then I replace the nozzle. Then I replace the I don't know what I replace in the printer, but in, you know it's like uh, only fools and horses. If anybody has watched that show, when that guy that is a uh, that is a uh, 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 working in a sanitation company says that he received the reward, and everybody's like, "What reward? I'm using the same broom for the last 15 years. How come you're using the same broom? Yeah, I have the same broom. I only replaced I don't know 15 heads and 20 handles." So it's the same. I replaced most of the parts of the printer to 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 be able to print it like this. I'm I'm really I'm really impressed. And I, I don't know what's the price. I did uh by the way I did receive this printer uh, free of charge and I will be sending it away free of charge. Uh, I will be giving it giving it away because I, I simply do not have room to 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 host any more printers or though if the LDO um, Jason from the LDO would send me something small uh, as I said either conversion kit for the switch wire or the uh, Voron 0.2 I would gladly build that one and have it on my desk but no um, let's check the price of this one I really want to see what's the price um... Currently, they say it's, it's three hundred dollars, which is yay. Uh, but I think you can get it for a bit cheaper, and I think that I will also receive some coupon codes, which I will be leaving later on um, uh, in the in this stream recording and also in the video. I will be making video on this one. But if we forget that it took me one hour to do ten bolts, and actually. How many bolts we set? Two, four, uh, six, eight, ten bolts. So ten bolts. It took me one hour, but I talk too much, and so yeah. You can probably have it printing in 15, 20 minutes. So it's okay. 
Um, I, I know one thing that I will print. I have to print a couple of things for the... I have to print a couple of things for the um, video that I will be doing. Um, and I, I will print... Uh, let me copy it here. Um, this one. Give me a second. Just to switch all those screens. Friend has asked me, I don't know if he's here. Miran, if you're here, say hi. Um, he asked me to do this, print him this SSD mount. The wall mount for 2.5 HDD SSD. So I will be printing this one for him, which will also be a nice test. Anybody wants to see any other tests because this really so far looks very good. Uh, I will also print something that I always print. Let me find. I have them bunch in my drawer. I say I have them bunch in my drawer. Probably I will not find any now. Oh, everything is stuck here. No, I I do. Um, it's Phil. Phil Ament. <laughs> it's an astronaut figurine. I, I print it always from e each of the uh, materials I do. I print it. I will also print the Warren Cube because it does make an emphasis on some of the possible pr uh, printer problems. Uh, let me show you. You can see... Uh, you can see in the shade, you know, differences with tuned and not tuned printer. So this here is tuned, this here is not tuned. And one additional thing that I will definitely print is... Uh, I have this caddy where I print uh, each of the colors I have. So I will be... And these are all the ABS colors. And the great thing is about... Uh, great thing about it is that... It has the overhangs here, which you test, uh, and you can see the rough and the smooth finishes, how they will look after you print it. So each of my filaments that I print has been printed. This card has been printed for each of the filaments. And uh, I put a, this one is green, but it's like green screen green, so you cannot see it, yeah. So these are some of the things that I will print to test the printer. Maybe I will print something like this. Because this is also awesome test to see how well the printer can print, you know, pieces that need to be printed together but need to move. This has broken off. Nah. It's time to throw it to trash. Uh, but yeah, as I said, this so far looks good. I want to check the elephant foot. I think I see something here. But it can be fixed later on. Uh, it's 8 p.m. Does anybody want to stick around until the print is done? Let's see how long... It's currently at 40... Whoops. We are at 40%, 17 minutes. That means another 20, 22 minutes. Now we can keep it rolling. Give, let me give a shout to my wife and kid. Who says that stream needs to end after two hours? Yeah, so it, it looks it looks really okay. Uh, I don't have any flashlights. 
Why don't I have any kind of a flashlight? Hmm. Um, I should probably add these. These are the cable guides. Look okay. Now I will, I will do it later on when it stops printing. So I need to add cable guides. I have zip ties here. Oh, these are for the nuts and bolts. I haven't even unpacked that one. You know, mapping section works in local too. I want to translate the speed setting to the progress bar thing. Hmm. Not really. Uh, for what? For what? For what? For what device? Ah, oh, for the fan. Uh, for the. the um, uh, I know it was either the humidifier or it was it uh, air purifier or something like that. Uh, for that one. Let me, let me, let me, let me entertain you. Uh, let me open one of my, one of my instances. This really looks okay. Mm, yeah, this looks okay. Um, Uh, give me a second. Um, okay, yeah, we can do it on the Discord. I will check something. Did you did you look at the other uh, custom components in the in the folder there and try to get something out of that? Because I know that I've seen something has hanged on my on my recording setup. Okay, it's opening up uh, custom components. <sighs> no, something is not working as it should. Loading, loading, loading. Something is stuck somewhere. I don't know why, what, where. Look. Um, something, something is stuck. I cannot something is not right with my connection lost yeah I'm not sure what's going on oh I know something crashed <laughs> did you see it did you see it it crashed it crashed I have issue I have to buy I have to buy new uh, I have to buy new a compute module uh, for the yellow. This one is one a gig of RAM, and it's really, it's really, it's slow. Uh, it needs more RAM. With everything I'm running on it, it really needs more RAM. 
Um, my also suggestion, Johnny, is to uh, to try to ask the dev. He's he's a really nice guy. I I, uh, I didn't have that much talk with him, but he first of all created component while I was also creating component, and uh, it took me a bit to. To figure out that he has done what I was actually doing at the same time, um, but he seems very rep responsive in terms of in terms of helping adding new devices to this uh, integration. Um, where is it? Uh, to a local devices. The printer will finish printing before I open the file I want to open uh, local to uh, devices um, switch this is for water switch community switch child lock tank no uncle fan normal nature Speed arrange one to eight. Okay. Um, fan. Speed one three. So these are the three speeds, I presume. It's something like that. Yeah, I'm. I'm not hundred percent sure. I could. I could. That could be. That could potentially be it. Uh, did you? Did you? Uh, let me open the GitHub. I cannot connect to mine because it will show a couple of things that shouldn't be visible. I like IDs and things like that. Uh, but let's see to your local. Uh, when I created my issue on the GitHub to add support for new device, I actually didn't do it as it should have been done. Uh, this is how it should be done that you paste the information about everything here and based on that he does the uh, custom converter for that device and charge energies let's find something here uh, fan actually printing one of the last layers i will change it here request for air conditioner to shiba air conditioner um infrared wind mode maximum so something like that probably He would, he would, as I told you, he would gladly help. I know that he, he created from what I sent him, he created this YAML file. Uh, at the same time, I was doing the YAML file. Uh, the only difference in the end was that I was using total increasing for a value of the, let me switch because the printer is almost done. Um, uh, he was using he was using measure as the uh, 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 type of the value, uh, but you cannot use uh, those in the long term statistics. So I'd use total increasing. But yeah, I, I presume that if it's reading this as a, as a string, that it doesn't know how to present it properly for templating. I can't get 
get a better light. We are at... 78%, I think. So we are printing last couple of layers. So far, so good. I, uh, really, so far, awesome. Stepan, by the way, awesome work on the creation, creation uh, language. I just started to play. I need to add additional names of the rooms. For example, instead of Kuchinja having Kuchinska, etc., to you know our language. Uh, but thanks for everything, and of course, thanks for being an awesome uh, YouTube channel member. Oh, by the way, uh, if anybody is still here. Please press the like button. I don't know why these these views counts things like that. They just go up down up down. I, I have zero idea what's going on with that, and it's been going down a couple of last weeks. Uh, I know that I'm getting uh, worse and worse, but it shouldn't matter. Um, I copied something because I wanted to paste something, and what I wanted to paste is this here uh -huh. okay um printing is Printing is almost done. I've talked. We um, we have we have once a month um, calls with the developers, and before this release, I think on on Thursday there was a stream, the beta stream, when they were where they were talking about the um, uh, year of the voice, the first release, beta release. Day before that, we had talk, and they said that they are currently working on something. I don't know. Um, I didn't. They didn't go into details, so I don't know much about. But how to overall avoid having problems with the words, you know, uh, language issues, complicated language issues. I'm not sure how they are planning to do that. Probably some kind of partial matching, but I, I'm not sure how, how they, they, they are going to resolve that. And no, I still haven't read all the documentation and everything there, so probably there is something already written in the in the guidelines, but I missed that part. I don't have, fortunately, time. Hey, Mario! <laughs> nice seeing you! By the way, is it working? The lock. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we are almost done. And I really, I, I really, I really, I really, I really, and how many? Um, I really was a bit scared of, of uh, doing this live. You now this is a bit out of my comfort zone. It's, it's easy to assemble uh, mechanical stuff online and not turn it on and see any possible issues with what, whatever. But nice, nice. Uh, but it ended up really okay. I'm. I apologize once again for talking too much, and as I said, for those ten screws, one hour. But we did uh, manage to get it printed. 
printing and this is the first print so no for anybody that that didn't join on time uh, um, I'll show you now uh, it actually it actually should sh this is a test cube uh, it's similar to this one it's similar to this one so you see uh, it has markings y x uh, and that's it uh, and due to how it is uh, created it should show imperfections depending on if the belts are not tight if uh, there is a stringing if there is a, a problem with whatever it should nice it's done uh, camera 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 uh, let it cool a bit oh uh, this is not ABS I can actually pull it off <laughs> you know after printing at 100 degrees pulling the 60 degrees bad is not that hard it's actually there is a bit of elef elephant foot I don't know if you can see you you see that the lower corner how it's a bit flattened but that can be issue with the first layer a bit tuning can help that but overall it's not bad for printer like that uh, you do see some kind of a ghosting around the X marks that's probably that can probably be tuned that can be removed by tuning the the wobbly bits uh, thank you Johnny uh, everybody don't forget to click like uh, so you can see for example anything that shows here can be the issue of the x-axis this can be y-axis this is the top or z-axis uh, so yeah it's used to show how well the printer is calibrated or if there are any artifacts or if then if anything really is screaming fix me like as i said this you see this ele elephant foot or like a fatter lower part but all in all it's it's really nice print there was something here but yeah it's it's really cool and nice print I'm happy with it and it looks like everything was tested because you can see some black uh, material artifacts in the color and when we did the purge first purge of the printer some of the black filament uh, oozed out so looks like they do test something at least nozzle or whatever which is also a bonus Okay, so probably this is it. Uh, we should be ending the stream now. Thanks everybody for joining. Mario, thank you for uh, super chat or super chat. Yeah, super chat. Um, Stepan, thank you for all the hard work. Um, Johnny, uh, Stepan and everybody, thanks for, and Mario, of course, thanks for being um, YouTube channel members. Uh, if you did like enjoy this video don't forget to give me a like uh, if you want to check out uh, this printer I'm bad salesman in terms of selling this because this is my hobby uh, check out the link but you can also find it probably on the Amazon or somewhere else um, it's good idea to check the link in the video description because they track this is not my link they track how well it's performing so if I perform well um, they can probably send something later uh, in the future uh, Pedro thank you for all the excellent work you've done so far on fluid and I will be checking out ouch your script for uh, clipper preprocessing for the cura which I did mention but at the end didn't show and this is this one here while I'm here and um i will be seeing you next time uh, there will be probably next weekend for members only stream um i'm not sure i have one project that i want to do together with you uh this time we will talk about that on discord and of course that video later on will be available i shoot i forgot to release the previous video doesn't matter um one of the next videos will be a video on this printer here but you've already suffered 
with me on this stream, so no need to watch that one. Um, and I think the next video in regard to Home Assistant was, I forgot. I really forgot. I will remember. Everybody have a nice rest of the weekend and I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun. Oh yes, and uh, today's stream was brought by the special sponsor, Teme. <laughs>